Hello and welcome to EU4, the Mandate of Heaven, the Great Southern Dynasty, where we are playing as the mighty Ayutthaya. And with uh, by the side of our allies in Mongolia and Yarkand, we have just declared war on the Ming and their, uh, their colonial nation, California. Um, they also have Ming Cascadia going up here too, it's pretty interesting. Um, to see east and west colonies meeting in the middle here. Um, we are going to play this on speed three, and we're going to play this very smart. I I think we can win this war, especially with the Mongols taking most of Ming's attention, but we're going to need to win it very carefully, basically. Um, I want to keep all of our armies around... Um, what I'm going to be calling force concentration points, which means that uh, I'm, I'm going to keep them fairly densely packed in such a way that they can assist each other easily without getting so bum bunched up that we're taking, you know, just crazy amounts of attrition here. Um, and we're probably going to be making, you know, liberal use of forced march. Uh, let's see, where where is everybody headed right now? Do we have anyone headed to Mong Nai? Not yet. So you, instead of going all the way over there, I want you to go to Mong Nai. We're also going to try to... Um, so basically, if, if we want to seize the mandate for ourselves, we need to have two accepted cultures in the Chinese culture group. I think it's probably going to be Miao, Cantonese, or maybe Miao and Min, Cantonese and Min. Um, so these guys over here, these Tibetans... Um, they're not, they're not really help. It's not helpful to us at this point to uh, conquer the Yi and the Bai. So what I'm going to try to do is burn down a lot of their stuff because devastation will cause the mandate of the Ming to drop, which we definitely want. Um, and also we can release these areas later as tributaries. So we can just take monarch power from them and not worry about the fact that we burned them to the ground, basically. We are building up to our force limit, I believe. Yeah, we've got some more units training down here. So I think if we keep our armies densely packed, we can pull this off. Uh, we have good ideas. We have, you know, good... Uh... Oh, and we are now... We're now a great power. Uh, yep, freeing ourselves from, from Ming tributary status has catapulted us past France and Great Britain to be the world's number six great power. Um, and we just had a stability drop, but we are now have a 623 leader, so I'm not too worried about that. Um, might as well boost it up to one. We'll even boost it up to two because it gives us absolutism, and absolutism gives us discipline, so it's just good times across the board. Um, I want to make sure I did some things offline during the last, or right after the last recording, so I don't exactly remember. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure that we mark the areas of southern China we want to take as important territory here. So that, uh, let's see, that Miao province there. We got that one. Okay, yeah, I think, I, think we've, I think we've marked out the area that we want to be our power base once we become emperor, which is basically going to be the area around Canton. Uh, I want to get that nice coastal center of trade, Pearl Estuary. We might even move our capital up there just to keep in, in the thematic uh, RP, you know, we're we're becoming Chinese sort of thing. <clears throat> Let's see, who was I sent into Mong Nai? Because it looks like we're going to need some extra people to take this fort. Supply limit's 25. I don't want to bleed too much manpower. But they have... How big is their garrison here? 8, 12, 20... Yeah, let's, let's do this. Um, you go here. I'm going to split you in half. Send half of you down here. <clears throat> and we'll, we'll go ahead and put Park 36 guys up here. Um, yeah, that's going to get a little bit tricky, I think. Because these forts are so well fortified. If we ha Actually, if we have a policy that gives us any sort of siege... Attrition for enemies, land leader shock, 
We have to complete innovative ideas to get the siege ability. So we're still a ways away. Royal marriage from Brunei. Uh, yeah, we'll accept that. I think we were trying to court them. Because here's the other thing. We're going to need tributaries once we become emperor. So I'm thinking like Pasai, uh, Mapajit, Brunei, uh, Tidor. We might try to get Bengal, Tibet. And then I'm going to try to release a bunch of these little um, Tibetan culture group states down here to serve as our tributaries. Because I don't really have any interest directly ruling over that area. So we'll try to play it smart. So far, um, as as might be expected, it looks like the Ming are mostly fighting the Mongols up north and uh, not causing us any trouble. So as long as that can go on, that's that's good for us. Um, can we do scorched earth here? Yeah, we'll, we want to cause as much devastation as possible to these uh, border regions. So I'm going to happily spend our mill power on Scorched Earth. Oh, I should have waited until after. That didn't lower the supply limit too much. Um, yeah, it's not too bad. So let's see if how that devastation stacking up. It's, it's it's having an impact. It's not having a very large impact, but it is having an impact. All right, so these will be our two core 36-man armies here, and we'll keep those at 36 to siege stuff. Um, I don't know why we have a diplomat on Sadia. Let's, uh, let's assign our diplomats out. Put one on allies. We'll put one on neighboring countries. All right, we've gained occupation of the province. Make sure that we uh, loot it all the way before we move, because we want to cause as much devastation as possible, as I noted. Even if we don't win this war, we want to uh, eventually get to a point where... Um, yeah, you can go there. We want to eventually get to a point where... Uh, Ming's mandate is just tanking so hard that they can't pull out of the death spiral, basically. And, uh... Yeah. Burning their shit is gonna be a good way to do that. Alright. Let's move these guys up here. Again, just trying to keep reinforcements in good positions across the board. Um... And if we want to get kind of cheeky, we could do this. Do you guys have access up to Yunnan? Yeah. Let's let's create another 36-man army. Just watching for these uh, loot bars to finish. Yeah, we can repay our loan. I forgot we had a loan. Loan offer from Japan. They want to loan us 80 ducats <laughs> to kill the Ming. Understandable, but we don't need the money right now. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it anyway. Uh, so this is fully looted. This is almost fully looted. So you guys... Move on over to Ling Yun here. And when December clicks over, these guys should be freed up. Okay. We're making good progress here. Are we making a dent? It's still 0.0. <laughs> we must cause more devastation. So Ling Yun, we will not scorch the earth because this, I believe, is part of... Yeah, this is part of the area that we want to conquer for ourselves. So we will spare them. Uh, they will remember, hopefully remember us as the nice guys that did nice things for them. And... These guys are now freed up. Again, I'm, I'm trying to station people in places where they will be able to most quickly respond to a Ming army marching toward us. 
All right. We're still losing a bunch of money. Why is that? Advisors, state, army, fleet, forts. Um, Fort-wise... Now we got these guys down here. Let's make sure we're not over our force limit. So these guys are going to form an extra force for us. We can turn off some of these forts that are not likely to be attacked by the Ming. Yeah, like I'm not really worried about the Bengal border right now. If they decide to attack us while we're fighting Ming, we can always turn those back on. So these are our three key forts that we need to keep up and running. Um... Yeah. Mongols aren't doing so hot, but they are bleeding the Ming, which is exactly what we want to see. We want their mandate to tank as much as possible. So yeah, now that these guys are freed up... Do we have anyone going to Nanming yet? Yeah. Should probably keep them here in case they need to reinforce one of these siege stacks. Guangnan has come under our occupation. Um, that's good. Did we already scorch the earth there? Yes, we did. All right, Lingyun is ours. Let's move to Li Zhao. Um, and then these guys will hang out in Ling Lingyun in case they need to force march in to support. They're brethren. These forts are taking a long time to fall. Trying to get a good, uh, good mental picture of what my force concentration looks like right now. So, this stack. Now let's bring them to Kaobong so that they can... Or actually, we we, should, we could bring him to Nan Ming. That'll that'll work. Come on, there we go. Point oh one, <laughs> devastation. Li Zhao has come to our occupation. Our traitor has died. Um, we have so much diplo power that we could probably just save the money. But morale of navies, eh? Why not? We can afford him. And we're waiting, uh, we're still waiting to, to buy any more techs until we've um, embraced the uh, manufactories, which is still spreading quite slowly. Probably won't be able to embrace it until after the war, but that's okay. Yes, I'm aware that there are forts in my country that have no maintenance. Yeah, I mean, they could march down from here... I wish we had better intel. I think most of their armies are tied up in the north right now. So as long as they're bleeding manpower fighting the Mongols, that'll that'll uh, that'll work out for us in the long run. This is fully looted. Um, I don't want to break our line though. I don't want to open up any opportunities for shenanigans. So I'm going to keep them there for now. Raids through the jungle. Ever since our adoption of cavalry, the mounted warriors of Ayatai, I think we've seen this event before. Gain 10 ducats. Dehong gets raided by cavalry. We lose 1,000 manpower. Or you can gain... I think we need military power more right now. So we're trying to complete some idea sets. So yeah, a little bit of slower-paced period of uh, expansion here. I think it's, it's necessary for us to do this. Hmm... Hmm. Um. Yeah, I really would like to expand along the coast, but we don't have a solid front there yet. Let's let's risk it. Let's be a little bit risky. There's a chance they could tr try to jump on this stack, and we would need to force march through two provinces to help them out. But uh, gotta take a risk at some point, right? Actually, you know what? These guys are going to be more useful over here. Oh, there we go. We've got a Chinese army moving in. Uh, we need to make sure we have a good general. Um, 
We'll wait till they're locked in. They are locked in. We're going to send reinforcements. They're going to be attacking across a, a river, I believe. Um, we'll move these guys up as a relief force if we need them. Don't believe we should. Reinforcements arrived. Okay. We're doing good. We're doing good, guys. We, we've we fought off the, the first wave of uh, Chinese attackers. So we'll send these guys down here. You guys stay right where you were, actually. All right. These guys are leaving, it looks like. So we've won our first battle. Um, unfortunately, the... <laughs> Mongols have lost their their only major battle. So let's see, Dali. All right, Dehong is the one that we need to devastate. So you guys devastate here. Okay, uh, full disclosure, I made a misclick that might have costed us the war and I allow myself to reload saves if a misclick was the cause of the war. I promise I only played like two months ahead of this, but I accidentally sent an army to a wrong area. So um, just just, uh, just letting you guys know that that is the only shenanigans going on and you are free to call shenanigans on me if you disagree with my methods. But that is what happened here. Um, so... Let's see, um, because I really don't want us to lose this war. If we, if we do, we'll, if we lose it, we lose it, but uh, I, am, I am hoping to not. My, my goal here is to not lose. So, let's see, did we already, we took that. We'll probably start marching that way. So, let's see. I'm just going to go very slowly, kind of step by step here, monitoring the Ming armies. Okay, so they are on their way down. We need to devastate this. Basically, what happened is I needed to force march these armies up here right away to relieve this attack and I sent one of them to the wrong province and then I couldn't force march them because they had already uh, exceeded their um, time or, or their movement allowance or whatever. Okay, and this guy doesn't have a leader, so let's just hope that they get there in time. I'm also going to force march these guys over here as well. Alright, come on, come on, come on. Get there. Awesome. They're locked in. They can't call off the attack. We've occupied in Chow. Let's move on down to Lei Chow. These guys go resume the siege of Yunnan. We are leaving these guys kind of alone here, but I think as long as we monitor them, it'll be okay. All right, so they are attacking across a river. They have a superior general and probably superior tech, but we have numbers and terrain. Okay, there we go. Hoo boy! All right, that, that, uh, that could have cost us the war. Um... I don't think we have access here. No, we don't. So we're going to need to take a stack that's not beaten up too bad. You guys stay here. Um, we'll keep this 15 stack here too. This 24 and the 27 stack. Um, just get out of the way so you're not causing too much attrition. And then these guys, basically trying to rebuild our force concentration point here. You guys don't need to go up there anymore. So this 36 stack can stay here. You guys go down here. You guys do go down here. You guys... Actually, you guys go... Yeah, you guys go to Guangnan. You guys 
and keep doing what you're doing. Okay, we're gonna keep, we're gonna watch this like a hawk right here. I'm also gonna turn off force march on these guys because they don't need to force march to get here anymore. They're already here. We've occupied a province. Um, don't want to get stuck on this island. So, I think we will Hmm, okay. Got I've got to think this through carefully. We we want to we want to bring down the Ming this war. We don't want to have to fight another war to bring down the Ming. Uh this is already devastated. This is already devastated. This is already devastated. This is already devastated. Although we could definitely pull more loot out of it. Guangnan has already been devastated. We just need to recapture it. Okay, so I think I will station these guys at Wing Chun, so just so they're closer. Because if we take any of these other provinces, it's just going to revert back to China anyway because of Fort Zone of Control. Our treasurer has died. We can't afford the inflation reduction guy, and we don't really need inflation reduction right now. So I think we'll grab production efficiency and we'll save some money. Okay. So we're keeping an eye on these guys. We want to know where they're going. If they're trying to march around and hit us in the rear, then we will be ready for them. Looks like that's probably what they're doing. Do we have anyone on Force March still? You should not be on Force March. Where are they going? They might be trying to siege our fort. But regardless, we will stop them in our, their tracks. Actually, yeah, if they try to attack Dali or Dehong, we're not going to need troops in Guangnan. Let's bring these guys over here. Let's bring them to Senwi. We'll bring these guys to Guangnan. We're just going to watch their movements very closely. Okay, they're marching through the Himalayas for no reason, is what it seems like they're doing. And this army is leaving. Oh, are they trying? They're trying to go around this way. All right. Well, we'll turn our fort back on. <laughs> okay. Um, we're gonna wait for these guys to get locked in. Wait for the lock to appear. They are locked in. Force march our reinforcements up. And we won the siege. Fantastic. So let's uh, let's burn it down while we're here. Scorch the earth. How's that mandate looking? <laughs> Still not as, as poor as we would like it to be. Did they just march right through our fort? Did those fuckers just march right through our fucking fort? I don't know why they think they're going to win this. We won the battle. Fantastic. We could start demanding stuff once we get up to 10% war score, but I want to see how far we can push this. Um, we've burned through about half of our manpower so far. I hope the Ming have lost at least that much. So you guys... Yeah, we can basically establish a new frontier now. So... We don't need these guys on Force March anymore. Send them forward. We'll send these troops. Where is the next fort that we can start sieging? Okay. We still we we still can't do much, it seems like, until uh until this fort falls.